If you are going to live the lifestyle of the unusual this year, please, you cannot allow what you see to influence you more than what you heard in the beginning. The Apostle Paul said in 2 Corinthians 4, 16, that is why he said, for this reason we do not lose heart. For even though the outward man is perishing, the inward man is renewed day by day. For our light affliction, which works in us a far more exceeding eternal weight of glory, whilst we do not look at the things which are said. We do not. That is, we don't continually gaze upon the bank account that is in a coma. We don't continually gaze in the temporal treasure. We don't continually gaze in what is contrary. We don't continually gaze at the wind. We don't continue at once. We do not look at the things that are seen. Why? Because the things that are seen are temporary. Temporary means they are subject to change. They did not come to stay forever. Whatever you are going through right now is temporary. You are coming out. Yes, you are in jail but you are coming out. You are sick but you are going to be healed. You are crying but you are coming out. For weeping may endure for a night but joy comes in the temporary it's temporary please don't forget in the dark what god told you in the light never forget in the dark what he told you in the light you heard something you heard something whatever he told you this year he has told us something and we are holding on we refuse. Yes, the winds are blowing. Where is windy in marriage? It's windy in business. It's windy in ministry. It's windy in health. It's windy in, in career. It's windy in everything that we want to pursue. Yes, it is windy. But he told us, come. And we can trust this word. Why are you quitting when you heard a word? Why are you still lying down when you heard a word? That the righteous man fall seven times. And seven times you can get up again. Why are you still worried? When somebody is threatening you, when he has said that the Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? Why are you troubled, ladies and gentlemen, when they are continually talking about you, that you did this and you are done and whatever, when he continually is telling you, ladies and gentlemen, that God will turn your situation around. You heard something, get up one more time. You heard something, push it one more time. You heard something, start that thing one more time. You are not a failure. Falling down doesn't make you a failure. It is staying there that makes you a failure. Dust yourself up, clear the smoke, put, tie a bandana around your neck and put a knife in your teeth and tell the enemy that, hey, I put my stake here. I am the modern day 20, 2019 Rambo and somebody is going down and it is not me. I will get up. I may be bleeding but I will get up. I may be crying but I am getting up. I may be grimy but I am getting up. Everything is against me but I am getting up. The wind may be contrary but he spoke and he said come. I do not care whatever happens because I know this I know that the one who promised me is faithful to the end. He is not a man that he should lie. Neither is he the son of man that he should repent. Has he said and will he not do it? For who is it that speaks and it comes to pass when the most high God has not commanded it. Let me tell you something. Kingdoms will rise and kingdoms will fall but his way shall abide forever. 